Welcome to New Focus Realty's The Red Zone News on 1430 WNAV. I am Larry Hudson of New Focus Realty. I have Kevin Moore of K. Moore and Associates with me. And today our very special guest is Jessica Gordon from Buckets of Color. Jessica, how are you today? I'm fantastic. Thank you. Well, that's good. And Kevin, you and I are fantastic because Jessica's here today, right? Absolutely. Uh, but we're going to talk about some brighter things, aren't we, Jessica? Absolutely. Buckets of color. Now, yes. I, I have to tell everybody that I met Jessica a few years ago uh, through the West Anne Arundel County Chamber of Commerce, and she uh, came into the meeting, and I said, okay, somebody's got a business that's going to tell me what color I should pick to put on my wall, and I said, isn't that what the little charts are for? And I have to tell you that you gave me a heck of an education. Uh, she came to our, I think you may have been there when she came down. Did you come to our meeting at our seminar at the office, uh, New Folks Realty's office? I don't think I ago? was. The, you missed that one? I, I might have missed that one. It, actually, the parking lot was like overflowing. She does have her own following. But I, I listened to her seminar, I and, uh, and I was very much impressed with the things that I learned. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to you and tell us a little bit about your company, about what you do and about why it's of value to the average person and to the business person. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, my background is in art, and that's what my degree is in. And I didn't listen to my father, so um, I didn't take any of those applied art classes. I took all fine arts, and mm -hmm. then I got out of school. Where do I go? So I found, my, found myself in the paint industry, actually, at one point working for a painter who was colorblind and started helping some of his <laughs> clients with color. Um, and that really sparked something for me. It was, um, I fell in love with color before that, um, studied color in college, and then saw that there was this hole. How do you go from this tiny little swatch on this little piece of paper it's to impossible. how it's going to feel in a space? So, um, you know, I did, I've taken every course I could find through the paint um, industry as I worked behind the counter um, in paint stores and um, and then sort of went for intuition. I uh, stumbled upon a couple of books and found the International Association of Color Consultants and really solidified some of the stuff I've known intuitively. Um, uh, I solidified that with scientific backup. Um, there's it takes we take color from the color psychology standpoint and from visual ergonomics and we really do find the right color for your space based on personality profiles um, who's going to be in that space um, there's tons that I would love to get more involved in the medical arena there's a lot of research um, that shows that people heal quicker and in, in um, the right color we're so affected by our surroundings and our environment there is and it's innate in us it comes from when we were hunting and gathering and we needed to protect ourselves we have a part of our brain that is scanning our environment to figure out where our safety is and if we don't entertain that part of our brain um, correctly then we can actually feel really off balance so there are certain colors that actually help healing processes there's certain colors that should be stayed away from when you're working with a computer for extended periods of time Such as? Um, well, I don't want to actually give you <laughs> yeah. any formulas um, because that's the... Because they could I, be misapplied. <laughs> well, exactly. And and to say, oh, the International Association of Color Consultants says that you should use this color. Okay. I can't speak for that. But at the same time, I can say that um, to have an assessment done so that the type of work that you're doing, because if you're going from your computer screen to a piece of paper, that's different than just completely focusing like graphic designers who have they have four computer screens or whatever in front of them, and they're working all day long on these computer screens, that's going to be different for every application. So when you go into, say, an office, yes. you have to figure out exactly what they're doing before you can talk about how the office should look? Absolutely. I ask more questions probably about the people that work there and the way that they work than um, I do about what you know what pottery barn catalog you liked. You know what I mean? That's not necessarily where I come from. It's not. Um, it's not from an interior design background. It's from really creating mood background um, and supporting the way that we function as humans. There's a lot that's inhumane about color design. Um, like, for instance, white on everything is very inhumane. Um, it's very highly reflective. It hurts the eye. It doesn't support eye function. Um, 
and it creates shadows, especially where we live in the mid-Atlantic, to, um, you know, have so much, like, if it, when it gets, especially this time of year, this time of year, uh, we have a lot of people who suffer from seasonal depression, and that white was white and bright maybe in the summer for a long period of time, but now it's only white and bright for a short period of time, and maybe not a lo- at all at certain, because of the way that the sun moves, it actually is gray. Yeah, it and gets cast- into the gray hues, and, and that's shadows. depressing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden it was white and bright and uplifting, and now it doesn't feel uplifting anymore. It feels gray and dreary and depressing. And So moving into light pastels in in a particular area might be a better choice than the the infamous eggshell white. Yes. If um, paint companies will probably hate to hear anybody say this, but if I could burn every off-white paint color chart out there, I probably would. It's not the um, paint company, it's the builder that would hate to hear you yeah. say that. <laughs> I just, um, it's not where we should be putting our focus. It's not people mull over like the, the different hue between these two um, eggshell colors and they're like, oh, should I go with this eggshell color yeah. or that eggshell color? And the overall mood is going to be the same. So it's really about what, and a lot of times I'm talking about what do you want to project about your company or about yourself, like in your foyer of your home, like what do you want when you want somebody to walk into your home? Like, are, are you the welcoming kind of entertaining or a lively house, or is it the kind of thing, come, don't stay for too long, you know, like we can talk about all of that kind of stuff and what goes in a guest room as opposed to, um, you know, your long term living spaces, I call um, like your kitchen and your family room and where you spend all of your time. And is there anybody in your family that has um, ADD or ADHD or suffers from any learning disabilities that has a hard time focusing? Because there's some things that color can do that will sort of help with that as well so it's really about the people in that space and how to harmonize them with the surroundings and and make sure that people can actually calm down that part of their brain that's analyzing their environment so they can focus on what they need next Um, especially now when people are talking about stress all the time i mean it seems like all these um the people i know that are in the alternative you know wellness kind of stuff they're they're not hurting at all because people want relief from stress and um and that's and that's what i'm finding with the color as well people want to feel uplifted they want to walk in their house and it is the least expensive way i know of to make such a dramatic difference in a space now what about if if a person does have the white because everybody can't just uh um well i'll ask you this question think about it before we go to break okay. but if a person does have to wait what about doing things like color light bulbs or other ways because most people can't just tear their house apart in the winter and, and repaint it is that uh, a no no a yes yes and i can see you're going to be thinking about that and we're going to slip out and go to <laughs> i think break. that was a cringe was that a cringe <laughs> i think that was a cringe. <laughs> we're going to be right back with some more news and views with new focus realties the red zone news continues on 1430 wnav 